Hi, Coach, uh, when you're at the opener, can you talk about AJ's performance? Obviously, give up two home runs in the first, but really settled in nicely after that. Yeah, he was tremendous. I mean, part of what happened there is he's throwing strikes to a good team. So I don't know if it's cost of doing business or just something that, you know, can happen at some point. But he really fielded his position well tonight. Uh, he had good presence. He reacted to a little bit of adversity well. Uh, and overall, just kind of seemed like he was getting better as the game was getting going. And I don't know that we had to take him out in that situation. But this early in the conference season, you'd like to, you know, be a little bit sure or careful with the pitch count. How would you evaluate the, uh, the offense today? Obviously, threw a lot of walks, was really patient up there, looked like, and was able to kind of get going there in the second and third inning. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you get some highlights on both sides with uh, both teams hitting some impressive homers, but some of the best at-bats we had were the ones where there wasn't a sports center type play or action that took place. It was, you know, forcing the starter Hess to throw a lot of pitches early in the game or battling with two strikes or Burke, you know, just kind of fist one into left field in a difficult situation. Uh, so to me, a little bit of extra toughness out of some of those at-bats went a long way tonight. With all the guys who've gotten off the hot start of the play, it seems like maybe Dylan Dryland's kind of flown a little under the radar, but what, what can you say about you know, the start of the season he's had so far? Well, the good thing about Dylan is he's incredibly selfless, and we, we've kind of moved him into a bunch of different spots in the lineup wherever we feel he's best suited that particular day. But to be honest with you, um, dating back to his high school days, He's best suited just to be in the lineup. He's a natural hitter. He's turned himself into a really physical kid with adding a lot of strength, working with Coach Q. Um, and then kind of seems to be a guy that is very stoic all the time, but internally um, seems to be better when maybe moments are a little bigger or maybe there's more intensity. I don't know if you'd call it clutch or what, but I know he really enjoys you know, being in there when the game's on the line in the batter's box. And last thing, how would you uh, evaluate your bullpen tonight with Andrew and uh, Aaron? Yeah, they did what they needed to do. Um, you know, basically hold down, again, a, a pretty physical and talented offense that has a lot of experience. So uh, to not let a fire get started was huge because you don't want to have to end up using three or four guys. Uh, and you certainly don't want to give a team momentum going into the next day. I don't know if that necessarily exists. Uh, but both guys did what they needed to do for us and, you know, got back into SEC play. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.